What's up guys, it's Drax here. Today I'm gonna to show you the top four best triad outfits to make for your male character using clothing glitches. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into the first outfit. This is going to be the first outfit I'm gonna show you guys on how to make. After you do make it to a clothing store, you're gonna walk up here to the front counter, scroll down to the Diamond Casino Heist on slot 51, and you're gonna look for the upgraded tech, which will be right here on slot 10. So click on upgraded tech, and you can equip the Conspirator outfit, or you can equip equip the schemer outfit so it's just whichever you guys like but after you do equip one of those two you can back out of the front counter pull up your interaction menu go to your style go to your accessories and you can just just take off the mask so you can just scroll one time to the right on gear and then it'll just take off your mask like this after you do have no mask you're now going to go back up to the front counter hit edit saved outfits and you're going to save your outfit on any slot that you want after you do save your outfit Back out of the edit saved outfits, scroll down through your clothing until you find heist coveralls on slot 13. Scroll down from slot 9 through slot 12 and equip one of these outfits with the toxic mask. After you do that, back out of the front counter and now we're going to head over here to the pier for the telescope glitch. So after you find a telescope on the pier, just do the telescope glitch. So run by the telescope like this, press right on the d-pad, you'll see that your character runs in place, then look towards the telescope, that's how you know you're glitched, pull up your interaction menu, Go to style and just re-equip the outfit we just saved, which should look like this. Put away your interaction menu, walk away from the telescope, and the mask will merge over with your outfit. All we're going to do now is just head to a gun store. And after you're at the gun store, walk over here to the top section, hit edit saved outfits, and save your outfit on any slot that you want. After you do save your outfit, back out of the top section. Now we're going to go into a job, and to do this, you're going to hit pause, go to online, click on jobs, click on play job, click on Rockstar Created, click on Missions, look for the job that's called A Titan of a Job, and fully start up that mission. And as soon as you load into the job, you should see that you're not wearing the vest anymore, and you're still wearing the toxic mask, so go back over here to your tops, and once again, save your outfit on any slot that you want. After you do save your outfit, back out of the top section, you can now just pull up your phone, and just quit the job from your phone. As soon as you guys are back in a public or an invite only lobby, you should see that your outfit still looks like this. So what you're gonna do is whenever you make it to a clothing store, walk over here to the tops or walk over here to the pants section, click on jeans on slot one, and you're gonna scroll down until you do find the midnight camo fitted, which I believe will be right here on slot 67. After you do equip the midnight camo fitted jeans, back out of the pants section, head over here to your accessories. You're then just gonna go to gloves, on slot 7 and look for the black woolen gloves which will be right up here on slot 58 and once you do equip the black woolen gloves that's all for your accessories so head over here to your shoes go to skate shoes on slot 3 and you're going to look for the all black skate shoes on slot 16. once you do equip these skate shoes back out of the shoe section now go over here to your hats scroll down to bulletproof helmets on slot 19 and you're going to buy the black bulletproof after you've bought the black bulletproof helmet, back up the hat section, walk over here to your glasses, go to gun range glasses, and you're going to look for the orange guns on slot 11. And after you do buy and equip the orange guns, back up the glasses. Now for the body armor, you're going to pull up your interaction menu, go to your inventory, go to your body armor, go to your show armor, and set it to the standard armor, which will look like this black vest right here. After you do equip the standard armor vest, back out of your interaction menu and now we can head over here to the mask store so we can get the mask for our outfit once you guys have made it to the mask store just walk over here to your mask go to ski mask on slot 21 and scroll down until you do find the charcoal toggle ski which will be right here on slot 94. after you do equip the charcoal toggle ski your glasses and your helmet will come off so now we're just going to head over here to the pier for the telescope glitch when you do find the telescope on the pier, just do the telescope glitch. So run by the telescope like this, press right on the D-pad, you'll see that your character runs in place, then look towards the telescope, that's how you know you're glitched. Pull up your interaction menu, go to style, go to your accessories, and just scroll through your helmet until you do find the black bulletproof. Your mask will come off, but you guys don't need to worry. When you find the black bulletproof helmet, put away your interaction menu, walk away from the telescope, and the mask and helmet will merge together like this. Now to get the glasses, just do the telescope glitch again, run by the telescope, press right on the d-pad, your character will run in place, then look towards the telescope, pull up your interaction menu, go to style, go to your accessories, and just scroll through your glasses until you do find the orange guns. 
Your mask will come off, but you guys don't need to worry. Once you do find the orange guns, you can then just put away your interaction menu, walk away from the telescope, and the glasses, the helmet, and the mask will merge all together just like this. And that's all for your outfit. So yeah, now if you guys want to see what it looks like in the pause menu, here you guys go. That will be all. Now you can just go to the clothing store, save it on whichever slot you want, and that will be all. So I hope you guys do like this all black outfit. Now we can just move on to the second tryhard glitched outfit. Okay guys, now for the second outfit, which will be the orange joggers outfit. This glitch for the orange joggers only works for Xbox Series X and S, PS4, and PS5. Sorry Xbox One players, it doesn't work for you guys. But for you to be able to get the orange joggers, you guys need to click the link in the description and bookmark the job. After you do bookmark the job that fits your console, restart your game, and when you load into a brand new lobby, you're going to hit pause, go to online, click on jobs, click on play job, click on bookmarked, and then you're going to go to last team standing. Now if you're on Xbox, you're going to look for this dash job by Kenza, or if you're on PS4 or PS5, you're going to look for a power play mission. But whenever you do find the job, you're just going to start it up. When you load into the job, you don't need to do anything, just invite a friend. Whenever your friend does join, confirm the settings, and then you can launch the job. Whenever you're in here, just hit ready to play. And you can see, whenever you load into the job, that you are wearing the outfit you had on before you started the job, and you will see, if you are the host, you are wearing the orange joggers with the orange bulletproof helmet. Now, if you want to go ahead and save the outfit, just pull up your interaction menu, go to your style, go to your accessories, and you're going to go to your gloves on slot 13, and scroll through your gloves for at least a few seconds. After you have scrolled through your gloves, you can now put away your interaction menu, pull up your phone, and just quit the job from your phone. And there you guys go, we loaded back into a public or an invite only session and you will be wearing the orange joggers and the orange bulletproof helmet. That's if you were the host player, but if you were the second player, you would load back into a session with the purple joggers and the purple bulletproof helmet. Now, all you wanna do is just head to a clothing store. After you do make it to the clothing store with the orange joggers outfit, what I'd recommend you to do is go up here to the front counter, hit edit saved outfits, and you're just going to save this outfit on any slot that you want. We're just going to be saving this outfit just in case you guys lose the orange bulletproof helmet. So then you guys are able to do maybe the telescope glitch and then you guys can re-equip it. This is just in case we do lose it, but I don't think we will. But after you have saved the orange joggers outfit, let's create the outfit and the thumbnail. To create this outfit, I'm going to go ahead and take off the yellow duffel bag and I'll show you guys on how to get that later. But your outfit should look like this with the orange joggers and orange bulletproof helmet together. So now you're going to go over here to the top section, scroll down to sports tops on slot 53 and equip the broker baseball shirt on slot 42. It should be just this gray with yellow stripes. After you do equip this sport top, you can back out of the top section. We don't need to worry about the pants since we have the orange joggers. But go over here to your accessories, go to gloves on slot 7, and equip the black woolen gloves on slot 58. After you do equip the black woolen gloves, back out of your accessories, head over here to your shoes, scroll down to sandals, which will be right here on slot 11, and equip the charcoal white socks. After you do equip the charcoal white socks, back out of the shoe section, and your outfit should look exactly like this. When your outfit looks just like this, you can then just hit edit saved outfits up here at the front counter, and save this outfit on any slot that you want. After you do save this outfit, now we're gonna get the yellow duffel bag. And to do this, you're gonna need to head to your arcade. Once you have made it to your arcade, you're then just gonna walk up here to the setup board. And for your select approach, you're gonna go over here to the middle job, which is gonna be called the big con. After you do select the big con as your select approach, you can now move over here to your prep board, and then you're going to go over your support crew, and then you'll be able to select your approach specific preps, and you're going to see vault drills. You're going to go ahead and click on vault drills, and then it's going to load you into the job to get the yellow duffel bags. What you need to do is collect the first duffel bag and bring it back, and I'll get back to you once I am on the second duffel bag. Whenever you guys do make it to your arcade with the duffel bag, with the second duffel bag, what I would recommend you to use is an Oppressor Mark II, or you can use a helicopter because they both give you a parachute. So you're going to be high like I am. Whenever you do think you're high enough above your arcade, you're then just going to jump out or jump off your vehicle, and then you're going to pull your parachute whenever you think it's ready, and try to guide yourself towards the arcade like this, towards the yellow circle, and then if you want to slow your character down, hold your left and right bumper at the exact same time, and you're going to try to hit the yellow circle before you land. So just like that, and then it puts you in the animation. Then it should say that you have delivered the duffel bag, 
Now you're still wearing the orange bulletproof helmet, so you guys don't have to worry about losing it or re-equipping your outfit. Now we're gonna head over here to the gun store so then we can get the right parachute, so then we get the duffel bag on our outfit. Now that you have made it to the gun store, walk up here to the front counter. You're then, you're then just gonna go to parachute, go to parachute bags, and then you're gonna look for the Israel shoot bag, which should be on slot 26. So right here, after you do buy the Israel shoot bag, back out of the front counter, it will disappear off your character, pull up your interaction menu, go to style, go to your parachute, set it to on, and it should be set to the Israel shoe bag like this. Now, the vehicle I would recommend you to use for this is the Oppressor Mark II, not a, not a helicopter because you will lose your head accessories, but you're just gonna go over here to the beach. When you make it to the beach on your Oppressor Mark II, you're gonna fly high in the sky like this again, and then you're just gonna jump off your Oppressor, your parachute whenever you think it's ready, and then you're just gonna guide yourself to the ground. You can pro The best thing you'd probably do is wanna land right next to your Oppressor, because we're gonna be using it again, but as soon as you do land, you should see that the yellow duffel bag is on your outfit like this. Now, you're gonna get back on your Oppressor so then we can do the mass store save glitch. Once you're back on your Oppressor, aim yourself towards the mass store like this, fly high in the sky like I am, and then you're just gonna jump off your Oppressor and try to guide yourself towards the mass door. And as safe as possible, if you wanna slow your character down, hold your left and right bumper at the exact same time to slow your character down and you can try to hit the blue tarp so your character falls, and then you're gonna either hit the mask, the hats, or the tops, start spamming right on the D-pad like this, and then you should be in the clothing. Now hit edit saved outfits, and you're just gonna save your outfit on any slot that you want. And whenever you have saved your outfit, back out of the hats, the mask, or the tops, you won't see that you have a parachute on or your parachute will fall off. Pull up your interaction menu, go to style, and equip the outfit you just saved. And just like that, you'll have the duffel bag saved on your outfit. Now the only downside is whenever you do die, the duffel bag does come off. So every time you die, you guys will lose it, but you can just re-equip it through your interaction menu and then it'll be back on your character. But other than that, that will be all. Let's move on to the third male glitched outfit. Okay guys, now for the third outfit, I'm gonna show you on how to make this black joggers with lime green. So to make this outfit, we're gonna get the black joggers first. So to do this, we're gonna call in our MOC. So pull up your interaction menu, go to services, go to Mobile Operation Center and just request your MOC. After you do that, you're gonna wait for it to spawn on the map. Mine will probably spawn in this area, but once your MOC does spawn in on the map, you're then just gonna head to the back of your MOC. After you do get inside your MOC, you're gonna wanna go ahead and go to the jobs inside your MOC. So it's gonna say access mobile operations. After you are here, go ahead and hit right on the D-pad, log in, and scroll down to the bottom and we're gonna be using the work dispute so we can get the black jogger. So just go ahead and launch this job. And after you do launch this job, you guys will need a friend to help you out. And after you guys have a friend loaded in that can help you out, you can just go ahead and start the job. And for the difficulty, make sure you do set it to easy so then you guys do have more lives. But I'll just get back to you whenever I do load into the job. Once you load into the job, if you guys are the first player, which is the host, you guys will begin the black joggers. But if you're the second player, you're going to be getting the red joggers. Whenever you guys fully load in, just go ahead and head to your apartment. When you do get to your apartment, just letting you guys know, if you guys are new to this, you guys cannot see your apartment on the map, so you will have to remember where your apartment is at. So whenever you are at your apartment, go ahead and walk up to the blue circle, and you're gonna wanna go ahead and blow yourself up. You can use a rocket or a sticky bomb. So whenever, once you're in the blue circle, just blow yourself up. And after you do load back into the session, go ahead and just walk into your apartment. Whenever you're here inside your apartment, go ahead and go down to the changing clothes section. Whenever you're here inside the closet, just go ahead and scroll down to your accessories and you're just gonna wanna change one part of your outfit. So just change the gloves or you can change the shoes. But since I'm just gonna go ahead and change the shoes, head to your accessories, scroll down to gloves and you can just put on any pair of gloves that you guys want. After you do equip the gloves that you guys do like with the, with the outfit, it really doesn't matter, but just go ahead and save this outfit on any slot. After you do save the outfit, you can now back up, back out of the closet, go ahead and you can now pull up your phone and just leave the job from your phone. 
When you do load back into a public session with the black joggers, you can go ahead and head to the clothing store so we can go ahead and do the outfit that you guys see in the thumbnail. When you have made it to the clothing store with the black joggers outfit, you're going to walk over here to the top section, go to utility tops on slot 59, and equip the black battle vest on slot 34. After you do equip this utility top, we're going to get the green vest later, but now walk over here to your accessories, go to scarves on slot 3, and equip the black desert scarf on slot 2. After you do that, go to gloves on slot 7, and look for the black woolen gloves on slot 58. And when your character has the scarf and the gloves, that's all for your accessories. So go back over here to the tops, go to utility vest on slot 60, and go to slot 70, which should be the gray or the green and gray straps vest right here. After you do equip this utility top or utility vest, back out of the top section, walk over here to your shoes, go to arena war shoes on slot 14, and look for the black and green light ups on slot 39. After you do equip these arena war shoes, back out of the shoe section. Now we're gonna head over here to our hats. Before we do that, I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna take off my head accessories. Now go into your hats, scroll down until you do find helmets, which will be on slot 16. And you're gonna buy the gray open face helmet on slot 77. After you do buy this gray open face helmet, back out of helmets, go to combat helmets on slot 23 and scroll down to slot 24, which should be the zebra quad ones. After you do buy and equip the zebra quad lens, back out of your hats, pull up your interaction menu, go to your style, scroll down to bike helmet and set it to the gray open face helmet, which should look like this. After your bike helmet is set to the gray open face helmet, back out of style, register as a boss, and you're gonna start up an organization, a CEO. After you do that, walk outside, you're gonna need to find a car. When you do find a car, pull up your interaction menu, hover over style, get inside of the car, go up to secure serve CEO, click on secure serve CEO, click on management, click on style, and on your CEO style, you're gonna scroll one time to the right, then one time to the left back to none. Now hop out of the car, you'll see that you're wearing the zebra quad lens, hold, put away your interaction menu, hold right on your D-pad to lift up your visors, and you'll see that your visors turn green. Now if you're on PC, I don't, I'm not sure what button it is, but you're just gonna pull up your interaction menu, go to style, and then you can go to helmet visor, and if your visor is down, set it to up, and then you should see that it turns green like this. When your thermal quad green, you're gonna go back inside of the clothing store, walk over here to the glasses, you're then just gonna go to sports glasses, and scroll down until you do find the green urban ski on slot 28. After you do buy the green urban ski, back out of the glasses, and now we're gonna head over here to the mask store, so then we get the mask for our outfit. Whenever you are at the mask store, you're just going to walk over here to your mask, go to ski mask on slot 21 and go to the bottom, which should be on slot 114 and equip the black tight ski. After you do equip the black tight ski, back up the mask. Now the helmet and mask should be merged together. All we're going to do is head over here to the pier for the telescope glitch. Once you make it to the pier and you find a telescope, do the telescope glitch. So run by the telescope like this, press right on the D-pad, you'll see that your character runs in place. Then look towards the telescope, that's how you know you're glitched. Pull up your interaction menu, go to style, go to your accessories, and scroll through your glasses until you do find the green urban ski. So once you do find the green urban ski, your mask will come off, but you guys don't need to worry. Once you find the green urban ski, put away your interaction menu, walk away from the telescope, and you will see that the helmet the goggles and the mask merge all together just like this and that will be all for your outfit now you can just go to the clothing store save it on whichever slot you want and that so here's what the outfit looks like in the pause menu and yeah that will be all so now we can just move on to the fourth male glitched outfit this is going to be the fourth and final outfit i'm going to show you on how to make in today's video i'm going to take off the duffel bag real quick and i'll show you on how to get that later but to create this outfit you're going to walk over here to the top section inside of the clothing store go up to sweaters on slot 44 and equip the black turtleneck on slot 69. after you do equip the black turtleneck sweater back out of sweaters scroll down to utility vest on slot 60 and you're going to look for the peach plate carrier on slot 44. once you do equip the peach plate carrier you can back out of the top section head over here to the shoes or head over here to the pants section click on jeans on slot one and equip the midnight camo fitted on slot 67. After you do equip these jeans, back out, head over here to your accessories, go to gloves 
on slot 7 and look for the black driving gloves on slot 62. After you have the black driving gloves equipped on your character, back out of your accessories, walk over here to your shoes, go to skate shoes on slot 3 and equip the black skate shoes on slot 2. Once you do have these black skate shoes, back up to the shoe section and take off any head accessories that your character does have and your outfit should look just like this. When your outfit looks like mine, you're going to go up here to the front counter, hit edit saved outfits and just save this outfit on any slot that you want. After you do save this outfit, back out of your edit saved outfits, scroll down through your clothing until you find heist coveralls on slot 13, scroll down from slot 9 through slot 12 and equip one of these outfits with the toxic mask. After you do that, back out of the front counter and now we're going to head over here to the pier for the telescope glitch. Once you have made it to the pier and you found a telescope, do the telescope glitch. So run by the telescope like this, press right on the d-pad, you'll see that your character runs in place, then look towards the telescope, that's how you know you're glitched. Pull up your interaction menu, go to style, and equip the outfit we just saved at the clothing store, which will look like this. Put away your interaction menu, walk away from the telescope, the mask will merge over with your outfit. All we're going to do now is just head to a gun store. When you make it to the gun store, you can walk over here to the top section, Hit edit saved outfits and just save your outfit on any slot that you want. After you do save your outfit, back out of the top section. Now we're going to start up a job. So hit pause, go to online, click on jobs, click on play job, click on Rockstar created, click on missions, look for the job that's called a Titan of a job and fully start up that mission. And as soon as you load into the job, you should see that you're not wearing the utility vest, but you're still wearing the toxic mask. So go back over here to the tops, hit edit saved outfits and once again, save your outfit on any slot that you want. After you do save your outfit, back out of the top section, pull up your phone, and you can quit the job from your phone. As soon as y'all are back in a public or an invite only lobby, you're gonna run back inside the gun store, walk over here to the right side where it should be outfits, and then you're gonna go to the Los Santos tuners on slot 53, click on Los Santos tuners, click on dock worker, and you're gonna equip one of these outfits with the dock vest. So it doesn't matter which one, because they're all the same. But after you do equip the dock worker vest, you can then just back out of the outfit section. And now we're going to do the merge glitch. So I will leave a link in the description for it's a G thing. You guys can bookmark that job for the merge glitch. But for me, I'm going to do the heist department merge. So I will get back to you when I am at my apartment. Once you make it to your apartment, go into the heist planning board room and go up here to the heist planning board. Out of all the five heists, select the first one, which is called flick job. Then you need to complete the first mission, which is called scope out. Then go to the second job, which is called Kruma, whenever it's ready. After you load into the Kruma job, set your heist clothing to player saved outfits. Then you can confirm your settings and invite whoever you want, like a friend or a random. And when someone does join, just launch the job. Now that you're here where it shows your owned outfits, scroll to the slot to wherever you did save the outfit, which will look like this. And you can hit ready to play. And as soon as you guys load into the job, all you need to do now is just pull up your phone and quit the job from your phone. So after you are back in a public or an invite only lobby, you're going to find a car. It doesn't matter if it's your personal vehicle or a random civilian car on the street. Go ahead and get inside that car. Now pull up your interaction menu and register as a boss. So register as a CEO or a motorcycle club. After you do that, pull up your interaction menu up again. Click on secure serve CEO or motorcycle club. Then go to management, go to style and on your CEO style or MC style, scroll one time to the left, then one time to the right back to none, hop out of the car and then you should see that the docker vest or the dock vest merges over with the rest of your outfit like this. Now, what we're going to do is go back over here to the clothing store so then we can get some of our head accessories. When you make it to the clothing store, you're going to walk over here to the hat section, scroll down until you find bulletproof helmets on slot 19 and buy the black bulletproof. After you've bought the black bulletproof helmet, you can then back out, go over here to the glasses. You're then going to go to casual glasses and scroll down until you do find the orange flames wraps, which will be right here on slot 72. After you do buy the orange flames wraps, you can back out of the glasses. Now we're going to head over here to the mask door so then we get the mask for our outfit. Now that you have made it to the mask store, just walk over here to your mask, scroll down to crime on slot 9, and you're going to look for the black t-shirt mask up here on slot 56. After you do buy the black t-shirt mask and equip it on your character, your glasses and helmet will come off. So what we're going to do is head over here to the pier for the telescope glitch. When you have made it to the pier and you found a telescope, do the telescope glitch. So run by the telescope like this, press right on the d-pad, you'll see that your character runs in place, then look towards the telescope, that's how you know you're glitched. 
pull up your interaction menu, go to style, go to your accessories, and scroll through your helmets until you find the black bulletproof helmet. The mask will come off, but you guys don't need to worry. After you find the black bulletproof, put away your interaction menu, walk away from the telescope, and the mask and helmet will merge together. Now for the glasses, just do the telescope glitch again. So run by the telescope, press right on the D-pad, just like last time, run in place, look towards the telescope. That's how you know you're glitched. Pull up your interaction menu, go to style, go to your accessories, and now scroll through your glasses until you do find orange flame wraps. After you find the orange flame wraps, your mask will come off, but you guys don't need to worry. Just put away your interaction menu, walk away from the telescope, the glasses, the mask, and the helmet will merge all together just like this. And when your outfit looks like this, here's what it looks like in the pause menu. We're not done yet. We're now going to go ahead and get the black open duffel bag. So what you need to do is go to the clothing store, save this outfit first, and then you need to go to the freak shop for the black open duffel bag. So after you do make it to the freak shop, the yellow circle will either be inside or outside. It's just different for my female character. It's outside, but for my male character, it's on the inside. What you're gonna do is look for the Dax job and just go into the yellow circle and press right on the D-pad. Now make sure the mission is called First Dose 2. Once the mission is called First Dose 2, you can then just confirm the settings and then just launch the job. When you make it to the JetSam terminal, you're now gonna look for a truck cab. So there'll either be one or two here in this parking lot. If you guys don't see one over here in this parking lot, go over there to that warehouse and then there should be one over there. But after you do find the truck cab, you're then just gonna go ahead and get inside and then steal the party supplies. After you do have the party supplies, it's gonna tell you to go to the freak shop, but you guys don't have to. There's gonna be enemies after you. And then after you do get past the enemies, you're gonna detach the trailer and then it's gonna tell you to go to the Lost MC Clubhouse. As soon as you make it to the Lost MC Clubhouse, you're gonna take out all the enemies, then you're gonna go inside. There's gonna be this red door. You're just gonna go inside this red door. Here's a whiteboard. You're gonna pull up your phone, go to the photos or Snapmatic, and then you're just gonna take a photo of the whiteboard. You can then just hit continue, walk back outside this room, go to your right. There's gonna be a duffel bag on this table. Collect this duffel bag. After you do collect the duffel bag, now go back over here onto this table and start looting up the duffel bag. After you looted up the duffel bag, now we're going to go ahead and save it so then we can get it into a public lobby. To do this, pull up our interaction menu, go to your style, go to illuminating clothing, and scroll through illuminating clothing for 30 seconds. When you have scrolled through your illuminating clothing for at least 30 seconds, put away your interaction menu, pull up your phone, and you can quit the job from your phone. And as soon as you guys load into a public or an invite only lobby, if you guys have the duffel bag on your character, you, you're good to go already. But if you don't, what you're gonna do is pull up your interaction menu, register as a motorcycle club or a CEO. After you do that, pull up your interaction menu up again, click on secure serve CEO or motorcycle club, then go to management, go to style, and on your CEO style or MC style, scroll one time to the right, then one time to the left back to none, and you should see that you have the duffel bag on your character. Once you have the duffel bag, the vehicle I would recommend you to use is an Oppressor Mark II. So now, once you have that vehicle, go to the beach. You can see when you make it to the beach that you don't have all of your head accessories together. So this is why the Oppressor Mark II is important. So hopefully you guys did save the outfit earlier. Then if you guys didn't, like I said, then you guys are screwed. So. I did warn you guys to save the outfit, so hopefully you did. But after you are on your Oppressor Mark II and you are high in the sky like I am, you're then just gonna go ahead and jump off, pull your parachute whenever you think it's ready. So as soon as you pull your parachute, you can land right next to your Oppressor if you want, but just pull up your interaction menu, go to your style, and then hover over the slot to wherever you did save this exact outfit earlier. After you are hovering over the outfit, as soon as you do land and your character is taking off the first strap like this, equip the outfit, and then you should see that you have all the outfit, all the components on your outfit together with the black open duffel bag. And when your outfit looks like this, get back on your oppressor mark too. After you are back on your oppressor, you're gonna fly like this, but aim yourself towards the mass door like I am. And then whenever you think you're high enough, you're just gonna jump off your oppressor, pull your parachute as soon as possible, and then you're gonna guide yourself towards the mass door like this. So if you wanna slow your character down, hold your left and right bumper at the exact same time. Try to have your character hit the blue tarp or your character falls. Start spamming right on the D-pad whenever you're right here, either on the hats, the mask, or the tops. Then you should be in the clothing. Now hit edit saved outfits and just save this outfit on any slot that you want. And after you do save your outfit, you can back out. The parachute will either be on or off your character. Pull up your interaction menu, go to style, and just equip the outfit again on that slot. 
and there you guys go now you have the duffel bag on your character so if you guys scroll through your outfits and then you guys scroll back you can see that the duffel bag is still here so yeah that is all i hope you guys did enjoy these four glitched outfits for your male character in today's video please like and subscribe thank you guys for watching peace